Hello there. I'm Neil Jenkins from Jenkins Electrical Maintenance Services. I'm here for um, part two. I've recently uh, made a video before on um, the new uh, Kinetic, Kinetic wireless switching systems. Um, this is a follow-on from my first video I've made. This is a second one. Um, and this demonstrates the use of these switches in a two-way function. Um, I've recently uh, done an EICR where I've picked up um, an earth wire being used as a leg on uh, two-way switching, which is obviously cannot be used. There was no earthing to the switches. Um, <clears throat> so the, the, um, it was over the other side of the kitchen to start with, so I had no way of rewiring it because the room above was a tiled floor in a bathroom. Um, so I had to find another way around uh, this problem. So um, the best way around it was the fact of using um, these, these new wireless switches. So I'll run you through it. Okay, right, so we're in a, um, like a large carport. Somebody's built us this big carport on the side of the house and fully enclosed it. As you can see, we have three, three light fittings running, running down. The, the one at the end is switched independently from the garage. So we're not worried about that. The first two are the ones that gave us our problem. Okay, so before we, we had us, uh, there was an old switch here which has now been removed. Um, and this is, this has been replaced and tidied up. There was a load of dodgy old wiring in here before and as you can see we very neatly replaced everything, put it in conduit all the way along and, and made a nice nice tidy job of it for the customer. Okay, so right. So here's our cables coming out from from the house. This is where we had our free core for our switch wire and our feed to our lighting. There's, um, it had to be a bit of, uh, sort of, I can't say bodge, but <laughs> I had to, I had to find another way of doing it because of the fact that um, there's a J, J junction box which has been lost somewhere underneath the, the flooring, which is obviously a tile floor. So I had my two cables coming out. I've managed to, to make them through the switch wires into a permanent live, which ran down to the, to the switch. So, so once we had our permanent live feed, the module, I used this box um, here, adaptable box, and I've um, put a module unit inside, which is a receiver for the um, kinetic switches. That is inside there. As you can see, it makes a nice neat job. It's all out of the way. And that's it. And then we end up with our kinetic switches, which, as you can see, I've mounted onto a plate. And there we have, so they're just basically mounted on that switches. And as you see, the lights come on. Then we can go into the kitchen area. Where we have a second switch which has just been um, using the sticky pad it's been stuck to the tiles so just so no untidy wiring or anything messing around from there so as you see again we switch this one and the, and the lights are off so hence there we have our two-way switching on and off from both switches and with this system it's great because you can add as many switches as you want to this if I wanted to put another switch down there, all I do is um, push the button on the receiver, flick the switch, it connects to it, and that's it. And then I put another switch wherever I want to. Okay, right, that's it for now. Have a nice day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.